Good morning, everybody. Um, it is great to be here live with you on Monday at noon for story time with the pastor. Um, Parsonage Wi-Fi has been struggling this morning, so I hope that we'll be together this whole time. But if I disappear, that is because that has happened a little bit this morning. We've been a little in and out. Anyway, it's great to be here um, together in our different locations, um, but connecting for a time to read a story together. I hope you guys are um, enjoying the sunshine. I hope you're enjoying your Monday morning, your school or work routines. This morning, we're going to read one of my very favorite books, um, which is I Took the Moon for a Walk. And I didn't have this book when I was little, but I got to read it with my niece and nephew. I took the moon for a walk. And the authors, the people who wrote this book, are Carolyn Curtis and Allison J. I decided to read this book this week because so many of us have been exploring the outside, taking long hikes, maybe um, getting to see our yards in new ways. And I thought that this book helped celebrate all the amazing things we can see when we go outside um, and we explore. And so maybe we'll leave reading this book together with um, some ideas of things to look for. So let's read our book. Here's the title page. I took the moon for a walk. You can see the moon and a little boy who is taking the moon for a walk. I took the moon for a walk last night. I follow it followed behind like a small summer kite. There, there wasn't a string or a tail in sight when I took the moon for a walk. Here's the moon walking over fields and houses. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped a page. I carried my flashlight just in case the moon got scared and hid its face. Flashlights finding an owl. But it peeked through the clouds that were fragile as lace when I took the moon for a walk. Here is the moon peeking through the clouds and I see some cows looking at the moon. I warned the moon to rise a bit higher so that it wouldn't get stuck whoop, on the tall church spire. There's the moon rising a bit higher. Wow, the neighborhood dogs made a whistle train choir. Oh! When I took the moon for a walk. Looks like the moon is howling right back at the dogs. We tiptoed through grass where the night crawlers crawl. When the rustle bellied robins, when the, where the night crawlers creep, where the, rust, where the rust bellied robins have all gone to sleep. There they are taking a walk. And the moon called the dew, so the grass seemed to weep when I took the moon for a walk.
We raced for the swings where I kicked my feet high and imagined the moon had just asked me to fly. Hand holding hand through the starry night sky when I took the moon for a walk. We danced across the bridge where the smooth waters flow. The moon was above and the moon was below. The moon is reflected on this river. The moon is above and the moon is below. And bright in between them, I echoed their glow when I took the moon for a walk. Then as we turned back, the moon kept me in sight. It followed me home and it stayed there all night. With the moon shining over the house. and thanked me by sharing its sweet, sleepy light when I took the moon for a walk. That is the end. So one of the things we can do while we're home during this time is we can go for walks, we can see what we find. We might even get a grown up and go out as the nights get war warmer and see what we can find outside. Um, there are owls and fireflies. And I know at my house, I have some rabbits. They all like to come outside during the day. Um, and some flowers are nocturnal and they bloom at night. Things just look different under moonlight. It can be a wonderful thing to do before bed, to go for a walk. And you might look up and see that the moon is following you, almost like you're taking it for a walk. So I hope that you're getting outside and you're enjoying the sunshine and the spring and that you are having a day of being as patient as you can be and as kind as you can be and that you are connecting with your family and that you're remembering that your church family loves you, that we're praying for you, that we're sending you our love and we can't wait to see you so soon. Have a wonderful week, everybody. And um, many, many blessings. I'll see you, I'll see you next week and Miss Kristen will see you soon because she's posting a very fun slime tutorial. For you to do at home this week. So I hope you have a wonderful time doing slime um, and maybe taking some walks. See you soon. <laughs>